All right, so I, I do believe that it is exactly 717. So I, yeah, we, we, we can just hit it from here and uh, all right, let's go, I guess. I flush twice for you, Rand. <laughs> I don't flush at all for you, Rand. That's how dedicated I am. Mm. No, <laughs> only, only flush twice if you don't want me to stick around. Okay. Oh, wait, I gotta, I gotta bump this up. It's like super quiet, too. Oh, fuck Sven's in okay. my chat. Hi, Sven. All right, here we go. Roll with Luggy. Fuck this. Um, what did you, well, we maybe could get to that in a second. Um, let me ask you the super chat uh, first since that came in. Um, but we maybe could talk. Did you see the Boogie documentary? Right after. Just give it a minute. No, or a second. I didn't even know there was a Boogie documentary. Okay, well, that's probably better for your life, but I do know. Um, Jadex Respector says, Dingo, why does Rand hate? Yours and Borjack's Gaza take, and then he says, why does Rand suck off Muslims? I really don't know how anybody could have had a problem with mine and Borjack's, like, Israel-Palestine takes. The because other day. it was wrong, Bingo, show. that's why. Not... <laughs> All we I mean... fucking said was, like, look, if you want to protest for Palestine, go ahead. I'm not, I'm not going to fucking complain about it or try to stop you. I'm not going to join you. I'm not holding up a free Palestine flag. I'm not doing it. But, like, if you want to do it, do it. But like any any attention you garner from doing that, you know, if you're not using that attention to bring the message back to being like pro white and your own people, you're wasting your time. And how the fuck is that not? We've been doing sense? that. Like if you're a white nationalist and you're doing anything political other than fucking trying to better your own people's lot in life. Hey, I'm out. Can you pause it for a second? What are you fucking doing? You're yep. Okay. As I said, like I I, I listened to Dingo's show, right? And I stopped listening after 16 minutes. I stopped listening after 16 minutes because, uh, you know, and admittedly, like, he's got one hell of an intro. It's a fire intro to that show. And then, uh, and then Dingo was talking about how, like, uh, you know, he's been away for seven months or so because uh, of life circumstances, but he's actually landed a really good job. These are his words. Like, he says, they're, they're, fucking, they're fucking stupid for paying me the amount they're paying me. So it's really... They yeah, they actually watched the, the clip later. Yeah, so he's got a good, he's, he's, he's got a young family to look after. It's great to hear that he's landed on his feet again and that uh, things are going well. The reason I clicked off was, like, as soon as, as soon as they went into the Israel thing, after they'd done the, the pleasantries, was like, Bullard Jack just dived straight into Israel. Is, Israel did this on purpose. Uh, they, they let it happen. Uh, like, there, there's no way, like, even a fly can fart uh, uh, without the Israelis knowing. And uh, there's no way they didn't know about the Hamas attack. And I'm like, oh, okay, you're doing that fucking they, retard shit. And I just clicked off. They cover that. They're they cover lying. that. So we have to get to, get to that. that. Yeah, we, yeah. Because because they, they, they go back, they watch it. They rewatch his show. And they, they feel as though they've isolated the exact moment that, that you have come to, like, a grievance. And, like, what you've gotten wrong and misunderstood. Is that her if you're in their protesting for Palestinians and nothing else, well, yeah, in their opinion, else, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? You know, I've seen this talking point um, uh, going around on Twitter that um, uh, maybe like uh, pro white quote unquote voices or whatever um, are going too far with the uh, pro Palestinian stuff, and then you can't go far enough with the pro Palestinian shit, you fat cunt. White people, so is that kind of from the Israel, from the from the river to the sea, nigga. Well, like there's that, and then there's also, like I've seen, I've seen some of these people who claim to be, you know, pro-white. They'll be protesting with brown people who, um, I saw a sign, for instance, okay, today on Twitter, and it said, "You either stand on the white side or the right side of history." Now, where was this at? This wasn't fucking like this was a Palestinian type protest, pro-Palestine protest. What are they doing? They're calling Israel white people. OK, and they're saying like, hey, guys, look, they're white. White people are always wrong. Get on the right side of history, not the white side of history. So what are we doing then? So now we're protesting for brown people, not white people. And we're we're fucking amplifying voices that are saying the default should be to not be on the white side of history. Oh, because no. whiteness is wrong. Dingo's retarded. But that that, my friend, that is beyond. I'm sorry, bros. Thing. I didn't mean to find That's out like this. Jack and I were really talking about. We were saying that that could that could like come about from all this because everybody keeps calling Israel an apartheid state, right? And where does apartheid where do, where did that even come from? It came from South Africa. Yeah. So like you're kind of whenever they do that, they're subtly keeping white racism, quote unquote, white segregation from non-whites who would kill them, right? They're keeping that as the bad guy, the default bad guy. Because as long as apartheid <laughs> is bad in people's minds, then I mean, white people having their own country is bad. Because apartheid, there's nothing wrong with apartheid. It's just segregation. Well, look what's happened since it fucking failed. 
they're all dying and so are we you know what i mean so anyways but uh my, well, i have to say jack and i were spot on with like the dangers of comparing it to apartheid because that sign i just told you about i'm seeing that kind of shit all over the place like all these pro-palestine people just no no there was a single sign yeah that backs up your retarded fucking boom attack somehow white as if that's supposed to change people's minds because you know whitey sucks so if you're perpetuating that message what the fuck are you doing what the fuck are you doing why are you talking to the fat man oh. that's 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 so sad yeah, it is. Um, uh, so what, have you got any critique? I didn't know Rand's, I, I don't know what he said or anybody else. Like, I, I don't know, know what he said either, dude, to be honest yeah, with you. I like, tell you, like, I, to be honest. I, I know that, uh, yeah, no, it says, it says a lot of, it says a lot about Ralph. The other day. Hang on, sorry, just a sec. I went into the chat to ask... Ralph has spent the entire week fucking spurging about the debate lords that uh, Gator and I did like three weeks ago. But if I actually have an opinion on something that matters, you know, something that isn't retarded e-drama. Oh, I ain't heard that. I've just listened to Rand ten times over making fun of my fat gut and my financial troubles. And the fact that I, I got fucking Cushion's disease and making fun of my limp dick. And make, making fun of all the dumb shit I did and how I'm a, literally a fucking criminal. How I raped someone in the mouth. But does he have an opinion on things that are actually happening in the world? I ain't heard that. I only listen to shit about me. <laughs> well, they play your bit coming up, so uh, we'll see. Yeah, might even skip a little bit, but I mean, they're, they're going to play it pretty soon. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, just a few more minutes. Finn, if if uh, TRS knew the dissident soaps people, like the, the dissident soaps on Twitter, <clears throat> and as soon as I fucking commented, I hear Randbot. Oh, I think I. Well, you fucking stupid kind of head. You fucking show, mate. You fucking sound like a fucking retard. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to protest for the Palestinians, kind. I'm like, okay, and I fucking just... That's I not what I said, but okay, like dingo. I'm like, okay, Randbot's doing his thing where he's being retarded again. I can't, ha I, I, I just can't handle, re like, his retard moments anymore. I'm done with them. I'm Wait, just done with Rand them. said somebody else was look, sounding like a retard? That sounds a little... Uh, oh, the hypocrisy uh, is so yeah, thick, you could, well, you could smooth it with a knife, couldn't you? Uh, but even when we did get along, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's like, okay, um... Yeah, so I, I don't know. I guess okay. That question makes sense then. I didn't know that there was a. a yeah, I don't. I just I don't know what his critique is, right? I think like I I think. Well, if you don't know what that, my like, critique is, then shut the fuck up, Dingo. <laughs> and uh, these people, there are bad actors out there that try to get white nationalists to not mention the Jew, right? That is a real thing. I've run into it myself a thousand times. Like these people are sneaky, and. They always reveal themselves whenever they try to get you to not talk about Jews. But, like, if I'm saying, look, guys, you want to go fucking protest for Palestine? Do it. Just make sure to bring it back to white people at the end. Those are not the same thing. I'm That's not saying That's what we've been don't doing, retard. I mean, not at all. I, I've lost more money than most of these Wait, faggots will ever make. Would you make ever say that? Like, like, about you. Would anybody no. ever expect you to say that? Like, I don't think I. That's, <laughs> no. that's not something that's I would expect to point. come out of Dingo's mouth. Don't talk about the Jew. That that seems like the, with all due respect, that would be down towards the bottom of, the, of your list. I think of phrases that, that you would say, right? Yeah, I've, I've never said anything like that. I've never said like, "Oh, you need to ease up on the Jew talk." Never. Like, Jesus Christ, we've we got to reset time. fucking Dingo's firmware. Yeah, he's a little out of date, he's huh? He's a little fucking out of date. As you can. Does he even know that the boys went like to the fucking White way. House? Like, has he even I, seen uh, any of that shit? He might, he might have actually been so out of the loop that he hasn't heard you know, about that, but I don't know. I, I, mean, I figure I somebody like, must have told him. Yeah, like, he, I know he's been, like, really busy with IRL stuff, like, for the last seven months, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that... You know, he's found his feet, he's got a really good job now, and, like, things are going well on the home front. But, nigga, like, you, if, I, I, you know, if you... Before, you know, before you jump right back in and, like, talk to talk to fat fuck Ralph after a seven-month absence without even, you know, saying tickety-boo to your fucking friends, Jesus Christ, at least try and catch up, Dingo. Fuck. This is this is embarrassing. I feel bad for Dingo. Well, he said the, he said the protesting is fine, and he'd agree with that, so... He I mean, yeah, I mean... But so I mean, in that regard, there, there's agreement. But I mean, yeah, I. 
I don't really disagree with his overall points. I'm just he's, waiting for when he gets to your bet. He's essentially just saying be pro white, don't be pro Palestine. Yeah, be, be pro white. Don't let the Palestinian thing like. No, he said you can't do both. Like, that, I'm, I'm pro Palestinian because they want to fucking kick. They want to. They want to destroy the bizarre terrorist non fucking country that the whole world is supposed to kneel on its feet to and worship. You know, don't be a spurg about it. Be like, hi, my name's Jeff, and Hitler did nothing wrong, faggot cats. You know, like, don't, don't do that. But I'll be, no, I wasn't going to say. I mean, like, that's not what I'm talking about. But, like, I'm, I'm never going to just be asked my opinion on something and then lie because it's popular in public, like, in my real life. I've never done that. I don't want anybody else to do it. No one's so, accusing Dingo uh, of lying. They're accusing though, him like, of having a shit take. Mm. Those people, you know, Randbot and his crew, and a lot of us, to be honest, we're always, like, so on the lookout. For the for the infiltrator who's trying to get everybody to stop talking about Jews because they secretly work for Israel, right? We're always so, so on the lookout for that. Sometimes, if you're not smart, you know, like Rambot's not smart, you might think <laughs> people like me, who are much smarter than him, like they'll they'll conflate me and my message. You know, it'd work message. a lot better if you weren't wearing Rambot, like a full oh, fucking clown outfit when you're calling me stupid, Dingo. Oh well, if you think that's bad, it's only going to get fucking worse. So differentiate right because he's just kind of dumb and that's fine that's fine i still love him but like don't try to flex on me like you're some kind of fucking genius Randall. i didn't try and to flex on you retard i just flexed on you reflexively i need to be pro-white get the fuck out of my face with that shit I had well how can i get in your face when you don't <laughs> fucking turn up and talk to me first you go you go and hop on the fat man I mean, I'm, I'm sh like, you know, go, go and enjoy like hanging out at like, you know, like Casa de Bouncy, Bouncy Castle over there with the fat with the fat cunt hiding in Mexico. But Jesus, like at least at least come in and like have a fucking consult with me first. Jesus, I would say that is one thing that uh, all of us here and you are, are probably going to agree on. It's, it's like he shouldn't have done this here. This should have been like a, you know. Shouldn't have been on, on a show, but on your show would have been a whole lot better than coming to fucking yeah. I mean, Ralph I'd, I'd and talking to, about this. So. I'd love to cross my fingers and just hope, like, you know, like this is some sort of, like, 24-hour off, you know, like this is some sort of extended yeah. work to so I can backfire on the fat cunt, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, bros. I don't know if this is a 24-hour op. Could have fallen off a ladder again, you never know. Yeah, yeah, fucking, you know, like, maybe finally landed on his ass and therefore had a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> I would have brought it up, I don't know. But uh, thankfully, the Super Chatters uh, are on top of the ball there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I want to hear that clip now because that just seems outrageous that he would pull you up like that. And, just, like, ding and somebody says in the clip. I'll tell you, there wasn't a clip. <laughs> like, like, I was in that chat for, I was watching that stream for probably a total of 30 uh, seconds. Um, I, it took me 10 seconds to type the question, and then I heard about 13 seconds of Randbot, and I was like, ah, right, and then the other seven seconds of me scrambling trying to hit the home button because I was tired of it. Okay, that's bullshit. That's bullshit, Dingo, you fucking liar. You did not hit button and just magically land on the on, on the 30 seconds where I was where I mentioned your your most recent episode. That is bullshit. Does anyone fucking believe that? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Dingo's not really one to lie usually. I I think I, I think I think what he's uh, is saying he, is that he he showed up. Well, no, no. I think what he's saying is he showed up, made a comment, and then you responded, and he instantly left. I think that's what he's saying. Okay. Well, that just makes him look like a thin-skinned faggot. I mean, all right. I mean, I, I'm just you know, <laughs> hey, hey. As long as we understand each other, Rand. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I gotta hear this. Somebody yeah. See, even even Ralph thought that was fucking uh, brutal. I link this. Uh, Jay Danks, you got this. Somebody in chat's got this. Somebody instantly fucking sends them the you, link in. Oh my god, dude! These fucking retards in your chat, stinky poo poo man. Dingo's a good man who loves his people, but he's also an idiot. You know, I've, do you have any? I've, do you have any you fucking idea? I wouldn't take that from anyone who unironically watches I Ralph. Than you stinky poo poo. <laughs> do you have any idea? Like well, it's, it's partially a compliment. Sad. He said you're a good man. I don't who give loves a shit. People. I don't care. His mom used to get deep dicked in the butt by truckers at a fucking parking lot, okay? That's how he Stanks used to be. Respect to like, the, the, here's the fact, big guy. Here's the fact. Not, not you. Stinky poo-poo person. Not me. God. But, but yeah, Ralph is a I'm stinky poo-poo poo person. <laughs> I mean, he literally is. We've seen the video. Well, that's why I had to clarify, Rand. The fact is... I love the story. Like, not, only, not only does Gator confirm this, but so does Andy Worski. That, that, fucking, that fucking trip they went down to... Uh, 
I forget. I forget. Where did where did they host that one where uh, where the Indian guy didn't show up for the fight? Oh, was that? Oh, the Tonka soft fight. Yeah, the yeah. Tonka and Orsky fight. I don't know. Miami or something. Or something. I mean, yeah, it, Flor it is... Miami, Florida. Now, unless there's like a fucking conspiracy of people who all got their stories straight, I've I've heard from not just Gator and not just Andy, but uh, like someone else who was there as well. Andy literally hassled Ralph into the shower. Because he was stinking up like the 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 two the the two room like uh, hotel uh, thing that they they had rented out right. I think there were like what there were like six guys there, and they they rented out what one of the big rooms or the penthouse room or something like that uh, for the hotel they were at. And Ralph showed up to an event with with body odor so pungent that he was stinking out like the, this two room hotel place. And oh, Andy, oh no, Andy, Andy, he, he didn't Andy just Lorsky he didn't literally just bodied stinking. him, bodied him into a shower, forced him to take a shower. A grown ass man, a grown ass man was fucking physically intimidated into taking a shower on a, on a fucking road trip. No, so, Rand, he so didn't when, just when, show when up, say, stinky. When I say like you know like Dingo has to clarify, oh, I'm talking to poo poo stinky man in the chat, not you, Ralph. Just understand that that's got an extra layer of irony for those who know, because Ralph is literally a stinky poo poo man, a stinky poo poo man that like fucking Andy Worski had to force into taking a fucking shower. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> At least half a dozen. Internet IQ tests, and they're real. They are real. It even says. Have you done half a dozen internet IQ IQ, <clears throat> IQ tests, Rand? I well, can't even say the word IQ. Good lord. Well, the <laughs> yeah, no, no, the best thing about it is like you know, if the first if the first eleven keep coming back with eighty, you can just keep hitting refresh until you lock it out. <laughs> Damn straight, so you get it. <laughs> That's on the top right corner, okay? And they all say that I'm genius or approaching genius level. Get the fuck out. Yeah, of course you're approaching genius. You used to join my chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's actually a good Dog. joke. <laughs> Alright, this is what was linked to me. I don't know if this is what he's talking about. Um, again, I did no research on this and had no idea about this whatsoever, which makes it a lot better, actually. Uh, so so the, the first bit, I believe, is going to be you commenting on it with Gator, mm -hmm. and then the next bit, they'll, they'll go and actually just watch uh, the Dingo's podcast. That was what he sent, what he sent me. Uh, I guess this is on Rand's show. The only reason I know is because I got a clip last week of them talking some shit. We played it. And then Gator's like, Ralph's talking to... Ralph's obsessed. Like, okay, well, you talk about me Ralph every day like, for food? fucking three years or whatever it's been. And I pulled up a clip. Anyway, whatever. Uh, all right, do you have it pulled I'll up? Just, hang on. Sorry. Sorry, sorry Maldrick. Go mean, ahead. Don't mean to brag, but uh, speaking of approaching genius... <laughs> okay. You know, like, they talk about, like, the online tests and all that. I was professionally evaluated uh, when I was about 14. I was told I was a sub-genius. So that's uh, that's the step below actual genius. I just went and looked that up. That's between 130 to 144. That was my official... That was my officially professionally obsessed rating. So when he says approaching genius, I literally am. Just so you know. However... Not, not bragging however, or nothing. I mean, I may, I, however, may be, I may be edging myself, but I'm not jerking myself completely off. <laughs> However, th this what this was this was of course pre ammo crate, and those numbers have never been That's rerun. True. Like, a lot of awful things have happened to my fucking head case since then. I mean, who knows? I, look, I, I'll be honest with you. I probably have lost about 10, 15 IQ points since then. <laughs> That's still pretty good, though. I'm still I'm still on triple digits. I don't know, you yeah. went military twice. I don't think you're a sub. <laughs> yeah, that's how fucking smart I was. I went through boot camp twice. So hang you on, know what? Yeah, yeah. I'm they... somewhere, I'm somewhere around thirty to forty. I'm dumber than a dog. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, right. The head, the head trauma jokes. That's old stuff. Yeah, just hit Rand with the "Are you that smart?" When you, when you fucking sign up twice. Yeah, that, that's much better, actually. No, 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 well, no that, that's that, that's got nothing to do with like raw intelligence. It's got to do with the fact that you know I'm so I'm so dysfunctional uh, that I'm unable to like function in a normal society. I blame the juice oh, for this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be accommodations for for autistic smart people like me. Uh, all right. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I sent it to you. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Hopefully, there's no okay, I'm, I'm pulling it up in there. There may be though, but um, there shouldn't be. I hope not. All right, you ready? Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Wait, how long is this? I don't fucking know. Holy shit! Did this faggot talk about me on his show? Well, it seems like it. I don't know. Okay, I, I haven't seen it. this. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard it. 
Okay, right. well, I guess we're going to watch it for the first time together. We're going to see it together. It could be good. It could be bad. I don't know. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, hit it right now. Well, unfortunately, like, once Bull and Jack, like, started going into the whole, like, um, Israel coordinated the, the, the attack on itself, it's all a gay op, I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm yeah, nervous. They got like, caught oh, flat-footed because they're fucking retarded. They, they try to LARP that they're this, like, Oh, I got a magic pause, like, pause. super small. We, we, like we know. This is literally the only reason Ralph knows about it, because we fucking talked about it on Debate Lords. Like, like I was saying earlier, like the, the only thing, the only thing he's interested in is what people have to say about him. Literally the only reason he has a clip and knows that I said anything about it was because we mentioned that on the Debate Lord show. Jesus well, he Christ. Said he's never he... seen this. Someone sent this into him just now as they were doing it. I don't even believe him when he says that. He lies all the fucking time. Fair enough. Oh, sorry, go ahead. You know everything that's the international happening expert in, like, the time gator. What's happening okay. in the fucking own backyard. I can't. Yeah, but it's just that. Oh. Like, it's, it, like, I understand. Like, it, uh, obviously, Buajak is like very Jack's focused on what's going on in his country. Okay, and yeah. so he picked up. He picked up a bit of fud. And so he was, run, he was running with a bit of fud about. Oh, oh it's all. A, it's all a gay up. No, I Israel is actually getting. Israel has suffered irreparable damage um, from from the Alaska flood, and. Well, I was about 16 minutes in. I go, okay, look, I, I can't hear you falling for FUD and prognosticating about FUD any further, so I had to stop listening. Well, this is, and this is what, uh, this had is to part turn of the it reason off. for the response after Allah's blood. He couldn't understand blood, it. Was that the Jews <laughs> wanted to make people think that, oh, actually, actually they're so Ralph smart. Laughing they're things. so smart. Hey, R Ralph laughing, like, where... No, I've been saying for a while, and I was just saying yesterday, like, Ralph literally doesn't understand humor. That's why he gets so angry at, like, at actual comics that, like, he gets lucky enough to have on his show. He doesn't actually understand comedy. Like, he, he's such a, he's such a, like, fucking retard. His, his idea of comedy is, like, man fall down, or long farting noise. Her, her. <laughs> he farted. Her, her. Oh, wait, he didn't find it funny when he farted, and Nick Ricardo laughed at it. But, um... So that Ralph just, Ralph just, this is the second time he's done this in the, in the clip he played. Like, Ralph just laughs mid-sentence when, when no joke was made. Like he's a, like, you know, like he's a fucking Chinese box pretending to be a human. So, humans occasionally laugh. Don't forget to insert laughter. That's such a fucking lizard-brained retard. But anyway, like, you, mm. like, okay, so they played that clip of me. Was there anything I said there that was, was there anything I said there? I stand by that statement. Was there anything I said that was too particularly objectionable? Well, Dingo uh, comments it on in a second, I think. Yeah, I'd yeah, say give, give her another 30 seconds of rolling and we'll be clear and good to go. All right. Yep. That they planned this entire thing, like, years in advance. We never said shit so that like they that, could ever. claim to be victims. <laughs> and look, look, you know, it, actually, Hamas had no idea that they were being fooled into doing this. And it, it's like, it goes into, like, the self-fulfilling prophecy where they try to make themselves seem smarter than they really are. It was like, like, we don't never get me said wrong. nothing like this. They do plan a lot of gay shit and gay ops, but it's all happening in the West. All right, so there's a part two, but but thoughts on that, and then I'll send you the other link. I haven't seen either one of these. Um, Gator I don't know what he's talking about. Wall. Gator laying down the wall. That's the right problem, there. Dingo. You don't know what I'm talking I don't know about. What the fuck, <laughs> fuck Randbot is even talking about? We never said anything about gay ops. We never. I mean, I don't know, and I, I don't even have a fucking like theory on a gay op. With all, all right, this. I didn't say it Jack was gay ops, Dingo. You fucking death cunt. I didn't say it was gay ops. I said you fell for fun. I said you fell. I said you 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 fell for the well, bull jack. Fell fell for the fucking retard narrative that like you know like every single fucking mosquito that flies around in Israel is like tracked by radar, with, you know, with a missile ready to follow. So there's absolutely no way Hamas could have like fucking molly whopped Israel. Like it's a He's fucking it's a retarded fucking that. narrative. I've seen it shopped around by boomers, and I was highly fucking disappointed. To see, like, you you, you and Bull Jack running with it, Dingo. He's claiming they never said that. Yeah. Except it's literally what play... they fucking said. It's still, up on, it's still up on TRS. You can go and fucking listen they're, to it they're going to... Oh, yeah, we're going to listen to it, and they're going to comment on it. To themselves. That, we never said nothing like that. What the fuck are they even talking about? Yeah, I don't know. Again, I didn't, I, I didn't see you guys either. Was this the day that I tweeted it out or whatever when you talked yeah. about it? Yeah. Okay. So I know when it happened. I did listen to the, like five minutes, but I didn't. You know, I tweeted it out. Oh well, yeah, at least you beat Randbot's time. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't come on here and say like I just said. Why did the cheat. only time of mine that Ralph could beat is like a, is like like fucking like personal best for getting to the fucking ice cream van. <laughs> Uh, somebody starts talking about something and they clearly don't know anything. Like, there's no shame in not knowing, right? Like, it's like, okay, I didn't see it. I can say what they said, right? Or I don't really know what happened here. But the false interpretation is something that I have a problem with myself. All right, now, uh, let's see. I think this is the second one, and I'll send it to it's you. Great to see. <laughs> it's great to see. That just blows my mind. Like, we never said shit about any <gasps> gay ops. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Okay. So, and well, we talked about that on the show. Like, I didn't say that I believed it, but I certainly understand why somebody might think, oh, this could be, you know, Bibby just let this one come through on purpose so he could justify killing a bunch of Palestinians and, you know, maintaining power and all that stuff. But, um, you know, yeah, Ralph just I happens to have these clips to hand, huh? He must crazy. have some really dedicated fans with, like, really, really topical cuts, right? I mean, that's his claim, well, isn't he, it? Like, I just got well, sent this we... right now. You just found it like two days ago. There's a clip of uh, you, you guys talking. I think it was Gator and Boob that were talking about yeah, something. So he has people watching you all yeah, the time. Yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody went out and clipped it. Yeah, they were sent. They sent in the the donos that had yeah. the, the link to it, the streamable links. Now we were talking about this yesterday. Gator sent me the screenshots. Uh, it, it's probably pers perspicacity because he went and broke down the the entire debate lords we did into into video clips. And why do we know this? We know this because Ralph's such a fucking idiot. Uh, that Perpicacity, like, gave him access to, gave Ralph access to his Google Drive, and the stupid motherfucker doxed the Google Drive on, on screen. He doxed Perpicacity's fucking Google Drive. Ah, oh, damn. All right. Yeah, he's that fucking smart. Well, I'm not sure who did it, or, you know, the, the person who sent them in actually was, uh, I think stated. he said it was Jay Gags, who's a long yes. time, like, now, Jay, Jay Donks is, is a, yeah, he, Jay Danks is a, is a, is a long time, like, fucking A-log fag, true. I mean, yeah, you so, know, so, so that was the it, could, it, could be, it could be Jay Danks. You know, it could well be Jay Danks. Hey, Jay Danks, make, make sure to give Go uh, Ralph direct access to your Google Drive so he can dox yours the same way he dox Perpicacity, you stupid motherfucker. For somebody to have that doubt, um, you know, and the fact that they had fucking cameras all around Gaza, and it's this highly secured place, and they just managed to break through and kill over a thousand Israelis. I mean, that's kind of shocking. But, you know, I don't think it's out of line to at least bring up that as a possibility. Um, but you're saying you didn't even talk about it. Ralph has literally no idea what he's no, talking about. No, we didn't about. even talk about anything <laughs> like that. Like, I, I don't even know where he's getting that from. I mean, fuck me, man. What a, what a dumbass. Why would I fuck you? I'm you're ready. doing a great job of fucking yourself. Is. It looks like yeah, I'm ready. the same clip. All right, uh, go ahead and hit it right now. It's great to see Dingo back, but, but. and this is where the controversy is going to come in. I made it about 16 minutes in, and then I had to turn it off. No. It's great to hear Dingo back. It's great to hear Boa Jack again. But unfortunately, Boa Jack, now I understand he's, like, this is a guy who's, like, living in real life. Like, he's, he's trying to do... In the accident and apartheid. Yeah, he's, he's trying to do, like, in real life in shit South in Africa fucking South Africa. Australia, yeah. He has unfortunately taken the retard pill. On, He's on taking the, the uh, Rosar's fucking god thing. Oh, and he's doing the whole, like, Israel plan. I'm with him. And I made it about 16 minutes in, and I go, okay, look, this is too fucking retarded, and I just turned it off. He never said that. It was great that. to hear that Dingo's back, and he's doing well. Fuck you, It was you, great faggot. to hear that uh, Boar Jack is, is doing well in South Africa. But I made it about four minutes in to, to, um, to hearing, like, what the coldest takes I've ever That's heard from Boar Jack. Say. Wait, it went from 16 because to 4? Because he's completely the wrong end of the stick, and I'm like, nah, okay. It's great. Well, so yeah, okay. Well, here, here's the truth, Rambo. I've never ever made it anywhere close to 16 minutes listening to one of your fucking shit shows ever. Okay. Dingo, why would like, you lie you, like you that? You always complain about the cube talking over you. That's the best part of the show because you're not fucking talking, faggot. Oh dear. Hang on, Maldrick. Hang on. Sorry, just a second. Oh, we're gonna have to send out. We're gonna have to send out a diplomatic mission, aren't we? Yeah, after this one, I'm thinking so. You might want to let it simmer for a week or two to kind of cool things off, but... Let him cook. Yeah, but is he going to do anything stupid in the meantime? Probably. I don't think so. Absolutely, Ralph is going to turn him against you. Uh, He's going to win. No. I don't think it's going to be like that. But I love Dingo. I, 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 tru I, I, truly, I truly love Dingo. Like, he's a great guy. But the problem is he's a, he's a hothead, and he flies off the handle at, at the slightest provocation. And it's very difficult to deal with someone <laughs> like that. I mean, especially if you're a fucking comic, and, like, someone, you know, someone has, like, the problem where, like, they, they take they take jokes as, like, you know, grave insults to their honour. 
I mean, no wonder, like, the, they used to have so many feuds, like, back in the day, you know, the Hatfields and the McCoys and all that sort of shit. Like, right, one fucking wrong word and your whole family's out there with shotguns with these fucking people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, like, I've said, it to, I've said it to Dingo, and Dingo even fucking agreed. I said, Dingo, the problem with you is you're so fucking antagonistic that if we cloned you and put you in the room with your own clone, you'd be fucking fist-fighting each other within five minutes. So I remember telling him that, and he was like, hey, yeah, you're probably right, but that motherfucker... Well, you know, he, he did piss me off. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. For some reason, it's like a meme that. So you said FUD, and so people in my chat will do. They're oh, doing people movie are names. What that meant. Yeah, so th let me just clarify. FUD is the acronym for Fear, Uncertainty, Doubt. And uh, nope. that's literally that's literally a thing that like uh, intelligence operatives do. Like that's that's what unit unit eight two hundred like does mm -hmm. on the internet. No, no, no. They, they, sowing fear, uncertainty, and doubt. It's called FUD. They they didn't misunderstand the term. It was for some reason they're taking that and just putting it into movie titles so you know get into the fud <laughs> you know grumpy old fuds fud club no country for old fuds the fuds in black i don't fud. understand fuds in black yeah. i like fuds in black <laughs> <laughs> But also work with uh, that because a fud, a fud is like a reference to like Elmer Fud. It's uh, it's something that like uh, like uh, people in the shooter community use to describe like retarded old boomers who get really fucking anal about uh, about gun related stuff. So like they say, oh, there was a fud at the range who was complaining about my semi automatic or, and stuff like that. They say, yeah, it's a it's a common it's a common refrain. Like like someone will someone will take like a like a semi automatic to the range. And then some old guy will fucking walk up and he'll go like, "You're firing that too fast." And they're like, "Where's mm -hmm. the where's the where's the fucking rule that I can't fire as fast as I want to fire?" It's just not polite for you to be shooting that there semi-automatic that fast. And he's like, go away, old fud. Go away, old my fud. Right. All right. We'll get back to this now. We're pretty much up in the juicy bits now. So this this is it. And there's not too much more. This shit really is just unwatchable. I'm sorry. Like I. You know, oh, that's fucking rich coming from Ralph. There, this shit's but, unwatchable, uh, eh, Fat Man? I can't watch it. Like, I don't know. It's... Well, you're talking about a guy with a drastically, drastically poor image of his own intelligence. Oh, like, don't, don't, say anything you were, don't say anything you were your regretting, own intelligence. Look no further <laughs> than wherever the fuck 90210 Sydney Way, uh, Wallaby, Australia, wherever the fuck he lives. Wallaby, like, Australia? Yeah, that is my address. I've, I've never I've never <laughs> said anything like that because I don't want to be rude. There's no reason to be callously rude to a friend. <laughs> but, like, how What's this? dare you? <laughs> what an odd you thing to say, Dingo. <laughs> dort, fat cunt, Randy. How dare you say Jack, somebody who is actually doing, starting, he started a political organization. Yes, I know, Dingo. I literally said that, Dingo. In his real fucking face. In the most dangerous I literally said he's too caught up in local planet. politics. The balls it takes to do that. And you're going to say he took the retard pill? Yes, he took Go the retard pill, Dingo. I stand by that. Jesus Christ. I that? said, I and said, and I'll reiterate again. Pants. Oh, sorry, Maldry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting all loud. No, no, there, there's... No, there was just a delay. Go right ahead. Yeah. Look, I, I said then, and I'll say it again now. Buller Jack is very deeply involved in local politics in South Africa. It's a dangerous fucking place. People are literally dying there every single fucking day. He is trying to organise a, a political movement that is uh, exactly counter to... Is, is standing up in opposition to what is a proven fucking, uh, fucking black-run, vicious, corrupt and murderous regime. Okay? It's actually, it's actually like real fucking dog days. Actually directly confronting the South African government. You're putting a lot on the line. And Buller Jack has, has invested his life in that, you know, to the detriment of his own personal development. He's taking a lot of fucking risks. I admire him for that. I think Buller Jack is a great guy. But I think he's, he's really focused on that. And so he took a casual glance at what was happening in Israel and he caught some FUD and he ran with it. And I'm not saying he's a bad guy. Yeah, I said he took the retard pill. He did. He swallowed a retard pill. The, the, the Israel let it happen on purpose fucking thing is a retard pill. And he swallowed it. I stand by that. I said nothing wrong. And, uh, of course, like, Dingo here is, like, being, uh, being purposely, um, purposely mis misinformed by Ralph about what I actually meant to convey. Okay, I get that. But I stand by what I said. 
Did I, did, like, guys, did I say anything wrong? I don't even know what Dingo's opinion is now. Because he no, he's, he's just mad because I criticized him. He, he doesn't. Well, he's saying you don't. You know, you, you only listen to him for. You know, and honestly, I was only listened to it for a little bit because a lot of it was about South African stuff. But the position that I took from that was that Dingo pro white is better than being pro Palestine, and that was the same take that Boyarsky had, which was another person in chat that now, day Boyarsky, that was fighting with the Boyarsky Scots is like position. straight up being being a retarded faggot about this. He got into a fight with Sven about it, and then he went and said that like yeah. you know. Then he went and implied that like fucking like Borzoi was in the chat. He went and implied that, like, uh, Borzoi, you know, like, Borzoi was, like, you know, some sort of sketchy character. I'm like, Brody, you're going to have to haul a lot of fucking water from the well before you can look me in the eye and tell me that you're more fucking credible than Borzoi is. Get the fuck out of here. All right, I'm done. We should probably keep going. <laughs> you fucking cut! I'll tell you what, dude. I'm done with that motherfucker. I am done. Sure you are, Dingo. See you next week. Well, that was fairly dismissive of... Poor Jack. Um, <laughs> the retard bill? Yeah, I don't know. That was, uh, that was a little low the top. He I don't. I, I don't like that. He drinks though. I mean. Oh uh, well, what do you, a few? Yeah, well, yeah, maybe it was a light day, Ralph. Wait a minute. <laughs> did Ralph? Did Ralph like literally seriously say like brand drinks yeah, and not burst into I flame? Guess he just caught it around breakfast. To me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna switch Wi-Fi's real quick and I'm about to right, So if I cut out, I'll be right back. Okay, go ahead. Uh, live on the live on the kill stream with some entertainment that I had no idea was coming up. Uh, you never know what you're gonna get in the super chat. Sometimes I had no idea there was like a disagreement here or anything. Which makes it all the more amazing. Powerchat.live slash the Ralph Retort. Killstream.live slash tip. Whatever. Rumble rants. Entropy. All that shit. What, what about Powerchat, fat fuck? Cash app. How's oh, Powerchat gone? We're not the goal, but it's still in sight. It's still in sight. What, like 61%? It's not bad. It's not out of the question. I'm just streaming. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Dingo came in. I, I I knew it might be. I, I absolutely did not intend this, uh, but like uh, Sven's yeah. been here in my chat, like so. w watching the whole fucking thing. I don't think he's pleased with Dingo at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sven just said absolutely retarded. <laughs> It's sad. Look, it is sadly. It is. Look, I'll, I'll have to get. I'll have to get a hold of him and like fucking fucking shake him, shake him, shake his sillies out because this is this is dumb. I, I feel like just to. I, I could. I could rectify this in five minutes. You know, if he'd stop being silly. But that's a big if. Push back one hundred and ten percent. Yeah. Degree. So look, 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 Dingo. I understand. Well, I understand where you're coming from. One hundred percent. But I just got to push back. Look, at the end of the day, they're going to play the... I'm oh, sorry, I was changing my laundry over. I had to fucking put stuff into the dryer. Right, and inverting stuff your underwear wash. so you can get another week's, week's wear out of it? Yeah, no. I've, I've Damn straight I was. Here. No, no, no. I, I just had to put stuff into more into the washer. Um, well, you, you know the At rule, the end of the right? day, if, he's going to... throw your underwear at the wall and it doesn't stick, it's still good for another day. Oh, goodness. Well, that's awful. I'm <laughs> scarred for life now. <laughs> But no, yeah, uh, he's going to play the uh, his podcast right now, the Southern AF thing. They're going to do the bit. They're going to listen through it. And then at the end of the day, they're going to listen about, you know, for 15 minutes into where you got. And like I said, they're going to they're going to identify what, what they believe is the, the grievance, mm. because at no point did they say, you know, what you're saying, wait, wait, wait. basically, maybe, or, maybe is this their contention? Maybe that's the long con then, because like what Dingo did was force Ralph to sit through 15 minutes of TRS content. Oh, maybe sneaky. that was a bit sneaky. I mean, like just, just like a, you know, just like in Dune, you know, it's a, it's the slow blade that penetrates the shield. He actually got that fat fuck to sit down and be quiet and listen to TRS content for fifteen fucking minutes. Well done, Dingo, you sly old fox. <laughs> Let's see. I'm looking through chat. Rand thinks Medicare was serious about him being the successor to him. Too. No, I don't, retard. I've said that a million yeah, times. Yeah. Well, you do, well, no, no, but you do get pretty drunk, and you're like, oh, I am the successor of Medicare. <laughs> yeah, do I immediately burst into laughter afterwards? Yes. No, I'm not the I fucking... Mean, I, 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 how many times do I have to say it? No, I don't actually think I'm the successor to Jim. There is no successor to Jim. Get, get a couple I, did, of fucking, I just found it uh, funny that, like, you know, he literally, he literally, I'll, I'll get a couple of whiskeys in here for the right price. But, uh, but I, I, like, like, Jim literally said, oh, Rand's got the keys to the widget factory. And, uh, I, I, I found that very amusing. 
I've always taken it for what it is. I mean, yes, we've got the little blobby on the side wearing the Medica hat. No, I don't think I'm a success at a gym. Gym's a, gym's a unique thing. Once, once gym goes, the sun won't shine as bright and the nights will be darker. Nothing, nothing will quite replace it. True. That's true. Okay, bye five. But no, I'll tell you what, dude. Like, just me personally, like, I, um, the one thing that I'm not, that, the one thing that I'm not going to, like, make up with somebody over if we get an argument about. We're going to make like, up you, about this, Dingo. Fucking... Yeah, they're probably going to make up over this. Cause he's talking to fucking Ralph again. He's going to talk yeah. to you eventually. Just Go remember, no, nothing yet. nothing like, said I, I on can't... the kill stream can be taken seriously. <laughs> It's true, actually. Yeah, I can't deal with that, dude. It's, that's a that's a fucking friendship ender for me, and it always will be. Like you're talking about a fucking guy. And firstly, he's one. He's my best friend. Like that's first and foremost. Like, he's my uh, best friend. Fuck, we were fuck that guy. I'm not going to talk to Before either of us had kids, and like we both have two children. They're both sons. Like we. Oh, he's talking about I, we've Jack. Okay. Been there. Not even though we've not been in each other's countries. Like we've been at all the important moments of each other's lives, right? And like, don't get me wrong. His wife's childbirth was totally different than mine. Like, it wasn't in a hospital. Yeah, like, yeah it was, was a different woman. It was like totally that, different. We we were there, right? Like, I was. I mean, I was the second person he talked to after his first son was born. After he got off the phone with his dad, you know, and then vice versa. Like, he's we're tight, is what I'm saying. But like, not only that. The fucking guy. How, how tight is he, Dingo? That I would, and I don't say this often, Ralph, because I always make myself sound like I'm the toughest, smartest thing ever. But he's doing something that I would never, ever have the sack to do, which is like, I can't, I, I can't, I'm not even doing it in America, which is not even close to as dangerous as South Africa. But he's putting his fucking face out there going, my name is, insert real name, right? And here's a political organization. We are pro-white. And like, he doesn't say anything like, no Fed posty shit, obviously. But he is never censoring himself he's always talking about his love for his people he always talks about the truth of black crime in south africa which is something that's very dangerous over there like he's doing right, I, what we all I hope should dingo, be doing, sorry and most of us don't have the ball i hope dingo is not getting the impression that i actually don't like bull jack oh like I'm, I'm actually like insulting his character i do like bull jack i think he's a great guy I, I, I think you were simply deeply offended by your comment on... I mean, you know, he's been awesome. incommunicado for a while, so I don't think he pays attention to much. Right. Paid, paid enough attention to, like, have, like, fucking Ralph and his, like, oh. re his retarded little posse, like, fucking, fucking run clips out of context fast, dude, and then get all worked up. Anyway, like, uh, uh, Sven... Sven? Svenical, uh, in the chat, in, in the chat said uh, he's retarded for saying I'm not allowed to support Palestine. He's retarded for thinking opposing Israel and being pro-white are two different things. Everyone who says being pro-white is a separate political action from opposing Israel is either a retard or a shill. Well, you know, I mean, no one Dingo then. He's not a shill. Dingo never, he's just well, Dingo never said. <laughs> well, Dingo never said that you, that you weren't allowed to support Palestine. He said that earlier that you could. So. Yeah, he said, yeah, he said he could that do that. That was an incorrect statement, just flat yeah. out to do so if you're if you call yourself my friend and you go after Boer Jack well guess what I'm picking Boer Jack every time I didn't go Fuck after Boer Jack I just said he was his opinion was wrong why would he do that in the first place I don't, I don't why would I do that in the first place fat man I did it because his opinion was wrong I don't know I, I don't know because like we didn't even <laughs> fucking get into any of that shit like the conspiracy theory shit we never do that play it here pretty quick I don't know where he got that from. He was just so disgusted. I got it from your fucking show! Um, it was either four minutes or 16 minutes. Do we have a copy yeah. of what was said? Can we listen to it? It's, a, it's on the fucking yeah, screen, up, you retard! Go to, uh, like, fuck it, hang on, hang on. Sorry, Patrick, pause, pause it. Pause it. Do, do we have a copy of what you said, Dingo? What's on What's on his own fucking screen right now? The Libsyn to the... Yeah, he's, yes. he's got the. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> he's looking, he's looking yeah. at a video clip of my show in which you're looking directly at the fucking the, the the fucking lips into like dingo's fucking show where can we get this i don't know try and use your fucking eyeballs i know one of them don't work so good no more ever since that pimp slapped the shit out of you because you tried to fuck a 12 year old but at least one of them works right uh. <laughs> i got i got I, I gotta be around you more often rand it's it's, it's it's just as fun as i remember i've always been here my <laughs> nigga <laughs> But the thing is, like, I don't, I don't know what timestamp to tell you to start at because it's not anywhere in that episode.
It's 15 minutes in. Like I said. Let me see. Um, they do get up to that point. They end up, they, they skip around or up to that bit, I think, yeah. If it'll show. I think they might be delisted, though. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I mean, he tried to look up, uh... He tried to look up TRS on Google. <laughs> yeah, he just tried to look up TRS on Google. <laughs> yeah. fucking retard. It's just the right stuff. Up there. Fucking idiot, yep. It's just the right stuff. Up it. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Did, did it get delisted? <laughs> yeah, breaking Dumbass. news from five fucking years ago. But when Google delists you, then you can't do that. Okay. I, I wouldn't be so yeah, fucking yeah, smug about being sensitive, yeah, fat boy. Yeah. You can't find it. I forgot that you can't. And I was like, oh yeah, I can't do that. Uh, you can still get to TRS on Google. I just did it. Never beers and beer. We tried to I think you get an SVLC link you can't if you try. You Google your website. <laughs> Yeah, you, you type in the right stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's actually... Wait, hang on. Who was Dingo laughing at there? Beardson. Oh. Yeah, he had made a comment about... Remember when Beardson tried to make a, a little snide remark about, you can't even look it up on Google, and then he just called mm. him a dumbass. That's oh, all. Some, someone just reminded me the other day, like, when I was talking about, like, you know, the stolen valor, you know how Merch, Merch calls himself a giant killer? Because, like, uh, mm -hmm. big people on the internet, like, took themselves down, but Merch... You know, like, Mersh was having, like, a one-sided beef with them at the, at the time. You know, like, they literally didn't know he existed. And, uh, you know, by their own hubris, they fell. And he just goes and adds that to the list of people I have taken down. I was like, you fucking retard, you've never taken anyone down. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I was just reminded the other day that, uh, yeah, Beards, that ne ne never forget. And, um, like, you know, Sven's in the chat, so he'll recall this. That, that time that Beardson claimed that he'd received over 500 emails of people cance cancelling their TRS subscription. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and we ran this past Sven, and Sven said, like, there is actually no way to cancel your TRS subscription. But Beardson claims, claimed that he had, like, hundreds of screenshots. of it. Remember, he said, like, uh, we, we, he made it up on the spot. He said, oh, we'll give you free access, and, the, and then he corrected himself and said, oh, wait, you can't actually give people free access. We gave heavily discounted access to, to people who posted proof that they'd cancelled their TRS subscription, and I got over 500 emails. I took down TRS. That is literally a thing Beardson has claimed. Beardson claimed, once upon a time, that he personally took down TRS, and over 500 people cancelled their subscriptions. Yeah, we, we ran this past Sven. And Sven said, first of all, you can't cancel your TRS subscription. <laughs> like, there is no option to do it. Once you paid, you paid. You got access whether or not you like Sven's hair. By the way, Sven's hair is fantastic. <laughs> no refunds, yep. <laughs> yeah, there's literally, like, no refunds. Thank you for the money. You now have, a, you now have like, three, six, 12 months access. There is no way to cancel it. Uh but I'd actually have to start, uh, I, I might have to kick in a few dinero myself over there, become a pay up, who knows. Oh, well, you, well, I mean, uh, you just need to follow the directions as outlined in that wonderful SPLC article, and, uh, you know, send, send 130 bucks to Uncle Tone's, uh, Uncle Tone's other stream. We'll finish up with, with this gold here, we're nearly done. Oh no, Sven <laughs> says, re. why do you always get this wrong? What did I get wrong? I thought it was like that. Is, isn't that what Beardson said? Didn't Beardson claim he destroyed TRS? Didn't he claim he'd received over 500 emails of people posting their cancellation? Uh, I mean, but, yeah, I'm waiting uh, yeah, I, remember, I remember something like that. The exact numbers, are, I don't know, but yeah, I, remember, I thought I remember something like that. Yeah, what'd you get wrong? No, well, I'm, I'm waiting to find out what I got wrong. Yeah, sorry, go he, ahead. He was, he was claiming that he was giving out discounts for, like, his service or whatever. Well, don't forget that he corrected showed. himself right in the middle of the lie. First he said that it was free access, and then he corrected himself mid-sentence and said, oh, wait, yeah, no, you can't actually give free... And remember, he's talk it, the, when he's talking, he's, he's claiming to be talking about an event that took, par uh, took place earlier. So in mid-sentence, he corrects himself. He says, we gave them free access. And then he goes, uh, 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 I mean, oh, you can't give free access. I mean, uh, we gave them heavily discounted access. Literally corrected himself mid-sentence about something that he claimed happened months earlier. Such a lying, disingenuous piece of shit. He was making it up on the spot. And you could tell. Because if you know a little bit about, like, uh, uh, human uh, body language, like, his eyes were spinning. His eyes were spinning around like a top. And that's a clear indicator that someone's making up a story right, right there and then. Yeah, Sven says there's no cancellation thing in the UI you can screenshot. That's exactly what we're saying, Svenical. That's why we knew so he was full yeah. of shit. 
It was Beardson oh. who claimed <laughs> that he'd received over 500 fucking screenshots of people cancelling their thing. And you can't cancel your thing. You can't take a screenshot of you cancelling your TRS subscription. Can't be done. That's why we knew he was lying. You know, if the fact that his eyes were, weren't spinning around in his little, little fucking dwarf skull while he was making up that story. Sorry, I'm, I'm all animated now. I didn't expect to get this animated this early. I say, I, I can imagine why you would be, yeah. Gotta put that fire in you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me pull this up. Um, maybe we can just listen to a few moments or something. We are okay, indeed. So I have it pulled up. Well, okay. Is he really pulling up TRS on a fucking private, um, on a fucking private yes. browser? Okay. Yes, he did just do that, yes. What a fucking faggot! Intro, at least like the first 20 seconds of the intro, it's fucking, it goes hard, nigga. I mean, never. Uh, yeah, but. All right, uh, I'll just play it then right now. America's core problems, in fact, are economic. That's not accidental. Again, it's by design. What you're watching is class all right. war. Hang on, Magic, sorry. Race this is it. Go for it. Uh, you know what? It all was a long con. It was all a long con, Maldrick. He tricked Ralph into playing his incredibly fire intro to his show. And I've always said this. <laughs> I've always said this. Like, that Dingo's intro to his show fucking slaps. I love it. Well, for, for all those that are familiar with it, we're about to get a little taste right now. Hell yeah, brother. I, love, I, really, I really do. I'm not being ironic. Really I do love angry. black people. And I do love Jews. Anti-white, non-whites. I love Jews, okay? Some of my best friends are Jews. Like some of my DNA. best friends are straight up black. I'm not, I'm not um, 100% I'm white. I'm of mixed descent. And so is all the guys that are on the score that claims to be Boer. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me skip a one. Why do you want- Let me skip- Oh, you fucking faggot! Humanity. Really oh, act, that fucking uh, faggot skipped through the intro! He skips right through it, yep. Yeah. Fucking gay! <laughs> you can always fucking trust Ralph to fuck it up. That's alright, I'll fucking play it afterwards. I'm doing- everything's great with that. And I'm making a fuckload more money. Had I known I nice. could make this much money doing this shit, I would have done it a long time ago. So the best thing that ever happened to me, well, the best thing that happened to me since the original firing from a racisms was getting fired this time from a racisms. Um, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not like rolling in the dough yet. I hadn't been working that long, but like, bro, when I say I'm making a stupid amount of money, it is stupid. Like they're oh, this is crazy. Me this cash. And I told Jack yesterday, I said, dude, I'm going to be a good employee. Actually. Oh, look at him see. Like, you know, like I'm actually going to do a good job. But you know how much money trouble playing. Ralph is in so right now? Everything's going, you know, better. He's being forced to sit there and listen to Dingo talking about how he's making stupid, he's, he's making like stupidly fat stacks. He's just, he's just fucking just grinding his teeth. He's just grinding his teeth because yeah, like this really is like out there, like like begging for two fucking Benji Greens to rub together, and he's playing Dingo's thing where he's like, yeah, I've been around for the last seven months, so I'm making stupid money right now. They're fucking foolish for the amount they're paying me, and, and Ralph has to sit there and fucking eat it. <laughs> it, it it is. Quite hilarious. I mean, just it, it, any little bit of pain that fucking uh, we can apply to him, you know? It's so delicious. <laughs> Glad I could help. <laughs> with me, for a while there, I was pretty fucking stressed. I'm not going to lie to you. I uh, didn't Why talk to hardly anybody for a couple of months. Because I was just, uh, yeah. <laughs> everything was just looking pretty bad. But everything's looking a lot better now. <laughs> Here we are. So that's what's been going on in our personal lives. Jack can expound upon his if he wants to, but that's what's going on with me. The boys are growing up happy and healthy. They are getting so fucking big, it's really aggravating me. Like, uh, I never thought I'd say this because I hate changing shit diapers and, you know, as much as the next guy. But, like, mm. there's, there's no, a Maverick, weird, sorry. selfish, uncomfortable... F you know, it's uh, yeah. it's because like Sven Sven said the same thing I've been saying for like the last week. He says, "I'm glad Dingo is rich now and deserves it after the shit he's been through." And yeah, to be quite honest, Dingo has been through a lot of shit. He really has been put through the ringer. Like ever since that whole fucking thing happened, when he, he remember this all started where he was like a delivery driver for Little Debbie's, and he just had an opinion on this video where like two she boons were beating the shit out of a teenage white girl. This all started when Dingo got fucking fired for making a comment on that on Facebook. Like, just having a natural fucking white man reaction to a video of seeing, like, two fucking adults being the shit out of a little white girl. And yeah, he's been through the ring ever since then, and it is good that he's making... It is good that he's making, as he says, like, stupid money. Good for him. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. He deserves it, and he has a young family to attend to. And, um, you know, like, uh, for, for those who aren't daddies yet, 
Like, you'll fucking understand. You'll fucking understand. Like, you know, the, the greatest money reducing agent known to man is like trying to have fucking children in this society. Like, the money just gets fucking hoovered up. So, yeah, the more, the more stupid, the more stupid cash you can make, the better. Uh, I'm Absolutely no lie there. Yeah, it's just the whole fucking world is set to, especially, yeah, like you said, when you have kids, it's set to fucking uh, drain that wallet out ASAP. So, yeah, the more, the, the more, I mean, yeah. I don't know how much Dingo's actually making, but I mean, I no, hope that I he's, I you know... I, like, I'm, I'm just glad to hear he's doing well. No, 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 no. All, all I was going to end it with was, like, I, I hope that he's, you know, fucking close to being a millionaire. Like, I hope that, you know, he's doing that fucking well. So, yeah. Good on him. Good no, on him for it, getting something yeah, good like for the, himself. Yeah. I know the last couple of years were hard. Like, he kept bouncing from... Well, he had a he had a, he had a trucking job for about a, a year, but there was a period there where he was bouncing from job to job because, like, the fucking A-logs kept coming after him. One of the people who fucking doxed him was PPP. Mm -hmm. Like, I've occasionally had people say, like, oh, well, you know, like, the, the Kino Casino is doing okay. Why don't, why don't you drop the PPP hate and, and, like, just get on board with Andy and PPP? Well, for multiple fucking reasons, I'm never going to get along with the fat blob PPP. But the, the serious, like, stick in my craw primary one is that PPP literally doxed Dingo when he'd already been bounced from two or three jobs trying to get back on his feet with a young family. PPP, like, posted his, his fucking new address. And, and, like, name, name, face, and address doxed him. I will never fucking forgive the fat blob for that. That fucking Canadian heart, the Michelin piece of shit. Oh, Sven says he's going to go watch football now. Love you all. Apparently you don't love us enough if you're going back to the Negro League. Jesus, Sven. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well... There, there's really not very much more of this. They're going to they're gonna watch bits of his thing, and then we're, we're just about a few more minutes till the end. And uh. then... They, they end up talking about, like, crypto stuff again, so no, they, they, it's a hard out, basically. Oh, th this is good. This is good. I mean, it's been an emotional roller coaster, uh, roller, roller coaster for me. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Feeling about, like, realizing... I used to brag about not changing diapers. That didn't work out. <laughs> it's not that I wanted to stay baby. Yeah, we know it doesn't work. Like, we, we know I'm changing not diapers didn't work out for you, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> out, right? Well, it doesn't seem to be up about it. It's a That's sucky feeling. Oh, wow, it's not an change one. <laughs> yeah, dude. Every time they, every day that goes by, every inch they grow taller, I'm like, you're, you know, that's another inch closer to you fucking leaving. What are you doing? You want to leave me? You don't love me? Hey, <laughs> Ralph, I changed diapers. You want to know why? <laughs> because I'm, ac I'm an actual fucking father. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, everything's good on the family front. Everything's looking all right. That's what I've been doing. What about you, Jack? You want to say a few words to the people? Well, we've just been very busy. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> first and foremost, I'm very glad to hear that things are looking better for you, my friend. Um, as one of the guys said here in the chat, you know, before you went silent, you were falling off of things physically a lot That's as well. True. So it's, true. it's exactly. great to hear that. <laughs> it's great to hear you're staying on the ladder now, and um, you know. Other than that, for myself, we are very busy with our movement. Like, uh, things are getting, how do you say, coming together nicely. We're getting very organized. We are growing at a very good pace. And uh, <clears throat> my wife's also pregnant again. So, yeah, Hello. that's good. How about that? Yeah. How about that, everybody? This guy just looks at his wife and she pops up pregnant. It's fucking ridiculous. And he keeps calling me the black one. <laughs> oh, that raises serious questions, but anyway, on paternity. <laughs> no, you know, Jack, Jack is a very virile man, and we're all happy for we're all happy for you. Uh, See, I liked this bit. It was are, very cozy. It, you know what's crazy, Jack? Like I well, again, they're going to get out of this. We're going to go into, into Jack's bit, and then, like I said, they're going to identify the line where where you got uh, caught up. The line they ran by. You know, it won't it won't be too hard to find. It's about like a yeah. minute after Jack starts talking about Israel. I was like, ah. Oh. Oh, yeah, nah, yeah. not today. Not, not today, to not today, it, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow, not today. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have, I'm not even kidding. Oh, let me skip it like, a little bit, because I, I got to hear where you guys said this incendiary stuff about it. Palestine. Okay. Okay. It's just not my bias. This is a new Like, you are the big, <clears throat> the big, like, you are the big, <clears throat> the big, call it shit, segregation, which is always funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he really does have brain damage, doesn't he? Uh, Did yeah. I not say it was 16 minutes in when I stopped listening? Did they not play that yeah. clip on the fucking show? I made it to 16 minutes and stopped. And here's this nigga, like, fucking scrubbing through, going, like, oh, we got to fire the bit with rain, stop listening. <laughs> nigga, I said where I stopped listening. Right. I think they're trying to find, uh, to try to get into the middle of it. But, yeah, I would have just gone to 16 and then gone back, like, two or three minutes, yeah. 
It's funny, but it's also necessary. Am I? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not. It's not. It's a very serious subject. That is hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely, did I got into hot water because I uh, I blasphemed the god of the of the of the. I'm of not the hearing this. All right, let's, let's segregate Israel, you know, in their okay, crimes right. against Israel. the Palestinians and like just how they're treating them, and then just like the whole concept of what they're doing there and the land they've taken in the past seventy years or whatever, like an unprecedented amount of people that I never would have thought would say anything have become like you know super focused on it and tweeting about it all the time and talking about it all the time. It's that's great to see. I'm very happy to see that, but there has not been in my just with in my the view, white representation. Yeah, there's not been a decrease in any anti-whiteism. There's not been an increase in racial awareness from white people Colonel whatsoever. So I, I thought that they would go hand know. in hand, but it's like what the there fuck? Is an, there is an increase in anti-whiteism, not a decrease. Not not only is there not a have decrease a time stamp in anti-whiteism, I don't want to... there is an increase because you see <clears throat> what I. What I notice from a South African perspective, right? A lot of Americans, whenever they speak on the, uh, and, and people of, abroad, whenever they speak on the Israel Palestine conflict, they always and uh, very often bring in apartheid. Calling, uh, How Israel does he and persist apartheid. when he's such a clueless retail? idea. Because, I mean, think about it. Jews are probably the most racially diverse group of people on earth, right? You get black Jews, <laughs> Don't know and about you get that. white Jews, right? They are a group they, of they people get, which is They didn't get 27 obvious. pages unique to them in the DSM because they breed out. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> right, fair point. English, um, in terms of their race. Then you see a lot of sympathy for the Palestinians from white people. And the other day, one of my friends, they asked me, so you honest, you know, why Why if the Jews are in the media, why is yeah, sorry, so about to go. I've got a terrible for the joke. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. What's a what's a stereotypical female uh, Jewish name? I don't know. Can somebody help me with this? I have no idea. I mean, I got I got Moishi for the for the guy. I, I need a stereotypical female name. Uh, Sheila. Sheila. I, I guess that works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it? Yeah. They they they. they Evil. The, these niggas been playing in real life like the the coffin of Moishi and Sheila for like five five thousand years. <laughs> oh wow! I, I didn't see that coming for some reason. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> uh, in the media, why are the Jews getting in to this idea? Yeah, let me pause it. Um, Fucking Dingo said that. I thought that he asked me to oh. talk. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and in my mind, it's very simple. Tell me whenever you got it paused. Yeah, I got it paused. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm being, I'm being told that delayed. Rachel is a stereotypical oh, no, Jewish no, name. Yeah. I want that back. I want that back. Now, the the Anglo the Anglo world, the English speaking world, wants Rachel back as one of our names. You're not allowed. Uh, well, oh, Rachel, Rachel, Sarah, and Rebecca. Those are some of my favorite Anglo names. You give them back, you fucking thieving fucking. Well, they're, they're, also, anything they're nice. also biblical. That's true. All right. Yeah, which means this belongs to us because it's from the fucking Bible. You don't believe in the fucking Bible. Give me back my names, oh. Jews! <laughs> he said the, he said the phrase, the two words together, white Jews. But um, I got I got a false string. Okay, okay. Yeah, he said white Jews, but like he doesn't mean European white. Keep in mind, English is a second language. He just means like, you know, lighter skinned white passing Jews. Obviously, Jack is uh not under any kind of misgivings that Jews are white people. Like neither one of us are. Don't be a fucking spur. He gets words wrong all the time like that, but it's a second language and he's not all that great at it. Anyway, let's go ahead. Yeah, well, and there's, I mean, the Jews delineate between whiter Jews and like more Arab look, or, you know, like Middle Eastern looking Jews. All right, Maldrick, we got it. Um, we got it, Maldrick. Okay. The, the, the coffin of Moishi and Esther. Okay. That, 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 that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, all of my, uh, oh, no, wait, maybe I shouldn't say this, I'll stop getting money. All of my stream donations are now going to fund the, the coffin of Moishi and Esther. It's going to be my <laughs> own, uh... We're going to make it in JRPG Maker? Uh, oh. <laughs> it's going to be my own, my own homebrew tale about so the, fucking the plot creating premise a, a whole little family. Even, the, the, the plot premise is they're not even locked in their own house, they're just Jews. 
Like they could, <laughs> they could go outside and meet other people at any time. They just don't. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, like like uh, Kushner or something, you know? Like yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't look like some, you know, uh, curly-haired Shylock Slomo. He looks like a, I don't know, he kind of looks like Nick Fuentes. <laughs> <laughs> he does, not let you mention it. All right, we'll play a little bit more. Um... Because, you see, it drives the victimhood status of the Jews. White people, whether you be in America, Europe, South Africa, Australia, or New Zealand, way, are not see allowed to have on. their own countries. And if you do not believe that, why don't you go to one of these pro-Palestinian people Ralph who's like, oh, the Jews oh, are okay. exploiting What the fuck this? is going on with Ralph, right? So I assume, like, I mean, fuck, I mean, I, I think I think we cross the streams these days. Like, I think he streams when I'm streaming. He's claiming he can't find my stream. I don't believe him. Mm. On Rumble, it's hard to find. Yeah. Not on Odyssey. Yeah, well, what, yeah, like, they say, what's my main venue? And, like, Ralph could at right. any time, even when you block someone, you can still go and look them up and, like, and look at the stuff. If, if, Ralph's, if Ralph's claiming that he can't find my stream, he's lying. He's actually dogging it. So his chat is trying to, his chat is trying to encourage him to do a raid. And Ralph is actually dogging out of it. Ralph is dogging out of doing a raid. Now, why would he do such a thing? Oh, that's right. Because every time he's ever tried to fuck with me, he's come off looking like the idiot. Ralph is fucking scared of me. He's pretending to his own chat that he can't find my fucking stream. Because I guarantee you, I don't know what day this happened, but I fucking guarantee you, if he tried to, if he tried to fucking once again do what he's done multiple times in the past and try and raid my stream, I would have just fucking stripped his, stripped his fucking hide. Just like I've done every other time. The fat boy is fucking scared of me, confirmed. Can't find my stream. <laughs> Lying piece of shit. Palestinians, they're oppressing them and they're bombing them. Say to them, freedom for the white man, freedom for the poor, white people deserve white exclusive continents and countries. Why don't you go and say that and see how that goes down? See how I that conversation see. ends. So what happens is, since we do not have our own country, yeah, and see. we are not allowed, afforded... Oh, Amy afforded said hi, by the this, way, Maldrick. How do you say... What was that? I missed it. Hey, Amy said hi, Maldrick. Oh, hi, Amy. She then went and posted Stay like a, a fat jingling Ralph emoji. <laughs> you know, privilege. There you go, of having our own con country. What it does is the Jews allow the Muslims to attack them relentlessly, saying, Oh, you know, Israel is an apartheid state and blah, 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 and they're bombing us. Now, however true that may be that they are bombing and mistreating the Palestinians, that's of no account in this uh, when it comes to white interest, right? Because now what it does to the average white man, I see this with white people in South Africa, whenever the Jews say, you know, okay, whenever the I Jews say, yeah, yeah, I see what happened to too, by the way. So he was saying, when, like, it's a strategy from the Jews to just, or Zionists, um, to just let <laughs> themselves be. Hey, stop there! Let themselves be attacked. What, what an odd correction from Ralph. If you, if you back that oh, up, five, if you back that up five seconds, the needless, the needless correction, yeah. Yeah, the when, needless when, correction. When it's a strategy from the Jews to just or Zionists. Yeah, what, what, the, what the fuck is with that, Ralph? I thought, I thought there were no more strings on your fucking meat puppet. What an odd fucking correction. Yeah. The Jews. Uh, the Zionists. Uh, I mean, the yeah. Zionists. Not what? the good Jews like Heshi Tischler that he has on his show. Yeah. What yeah. Was, yeah. Oh God. So what's going on with that fat boy? What a uh, weird fucking so, so thing this, to do. True. So this, so this is the bit here then. So they they, they they feel like they've identified the bit where Bower Jack kind of sort of misspoke or whatever, or 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 you, or you sort of misunderstood what he was saying. So this is it. Um, to just let <laughs> themselves be. <laughs> Let themselves be attacked by Muslims and let themselves, uh, you know, be attacked on that that ground. Um, yeah, but he didn't verbally, mean, like, yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't mean that they had let the attack go through. Okay, yeah. let me just stop you right there, Ralph, because I want to point out something significant that just fucking happened in real time, and I hope somebody sends this clip to Ranbot. Here's what happened. Uh, we did, Dingo. We yeah, got no, it to no, him. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> Two white people. We're listening to another third white person and understood what he meant. But Rambot listened to the same clip and got all fucking jelly brained because he's dumb. He's fucking stupid. And he doesn't understand.
my words mean? No, Dingo. Fuck you, robot. You're gonna fucking say all that shit about me and Jack because you but I didn't misunderstand say all that shit. words. Fuck you, dude. I'm oh, done with you. Oh, I'm Jesus. fucking done with you, Dingo. Jesus, anyway. Dingo. Ooh. I mean, look, I mean, I'd take this seriously, except Dingo says that he's been done with me about, like, 30 or 40 times. Uh, so... <laughs> yeah. That is true, yeah. But, uh... But do you see what happened, yeah, yeah, first, yeah, first of all, like, wait, I didn't listen... I didn't listen to a clip, Dingo. I saw that you'd put out a new show, and I sat in my literally comfy chair and put you on to listen to while I played a video game. And I had to like alt tab out of my video game and stop and stop listening to your show because you're you're doing a doing a a, a gay and fake take, which which I, even if I said it's not even your fault, it's not Boa Jack's fault that he picked up some fucking fud and you guys ran with it. I mean, I understand. I, th I, think, I think they're saying that you're <laughs> that you misheard him though because <laughs> we're, we're at that point fourteen forty of almost you know only another minute and twenty. <laughs> I think they stop it about here. So I think they're just saying that that's not what he was saying, and you just misunderstood him. Oh, yeah, but like he's saying, he's saying like, uh, oh, Rand said all that shit. What did I actually say? What I said was I didn't like Bullard Jack's take, but I like Bullard Jack, and I like Dingo, and I understand that Bullard Jack is, like, very involved in his local movement, and I understand that Dingo's been very busy with his personal life, which is good. You know, tend to your own garden first. But they have a bad take. That's all. That they picked up a bad take. And I couldn't keep listening when they were doing a... They started diving into a bad take. I think, well, in regards to what he's angry about, I think it would be you uh, saying Bullard Jack took the retard pill. And now that they've gone oh, over well, it, they, just wanna, feel, they wanna, feel as though you misunderstood season, what he said. If you want to seize on my hyperbole... And, look, I, I still... I, I, you know, I stand by that. Yes, Bullard Jack took a retard pill. And you got to understand, like, this is this is on purpose, right? Like, the, there are slings and arrows and snares and traps laid before our feet every step of the way. And even the best of us take, take you know, like, fall victim to... I mean, there's a reason that, like, Unit 8, 8200 is literally the largest unit in the Israeli army and it does one thing, which is, like, spread disinformation on the internet. Billions of dollars with hundreds of thousands of personnel is dedicated to try and trip people up with incorrect narratives. We deal with it every day. I'm sure in your chat every day, Maldrick, you know, now that, now that you're doing your streams, you, 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 now you see with the eyes I see, Maldrick, that, like, people walk in with, like, fucking retarded shit, and they're otherwise good people. It's just like they, they went and picked up a dog turd and they run into the kitchen and say, look what I found, Mum." Rand, do you think this is like a like the people who began in anti jihad kind of stuff? Do you think this is kind of like their priors, like the God, libertarian I priors? Fucking, I fucking remember when I was a young and going to university. Yeah. I remember little green footballs, and and I, I remember like the the fucking the, the, it all turned out to be yeah, it was it, it was literally a Zionist shill op, like just fucking up, up. Pe fucking up people's brains with retarded takes. Yeah, I've had my brain fucked up with retarded takes. Everyone's had their fucking brain fucked up with retarded takes. Let 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 he who has not fallen for Jewish fud at least once in his life cast the first fucking stone, eh? Mm hmm. All right. I think that his point though is that that wasn't his take. So I think I, I think that, that that's probably why he's getting so angry. It's because like they they didn't say that, and then they just listened to it, and then he's defending that that wasn't the, their position. It's like I guess you just have to. I'm getting, I'm getting angry too, but what do you call it when you're happy but angry as well? Like, I'm, I'm happy. This is making me happy, Maldrick. Mm. Yeah, I'm. All right, make, guess it. Guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I think I think that that's just like, you know, running with hyperbole aside, this that other thing. I think it's just that they're just the dingo is defending that, that was not Boer Jack's take, and so to attack him for the take he didn't make, it was just kind of retarded. They, it, look, I mean, that, that was his take. He was doing the, he was doing, some, he, he was doing some fud. Like, he was, he was, he was repeating some fud. Now, I mean, I mean, that, that, that's fine. Dingo disagrees, and then they just listen to it, and then he just disagreed again, because, I mean... Dingo, I mean, Dingo can I mean, come, they, they, Dingo they can listen, come and fucking and, argue with me about it. Yeah. Well, they, well, it was like, they, they listened to your opinion on it, and what you said, and then they went and listened to the show, and then they were like, yeah, they didn't line up. So I, I think that I think that there's just, yeah... I think maybe, what, what if, hypothetically, 
you misheard what he said, and and you are actually in the wrong. Dude, I was I was <laughs> passively listening to it while playing a video game. There's a reason I tabbed out to turn it off. Okay. It was bad. It was a bad take. And about 16 minutes in, I I just couldn't bear it any further, and I I just had to go and switch to something else, which was a shame because I was really excited to see Dingo back. Now, Dingo, I mean, I'm sure this will happen. Dingo, at some point, we're going to have to hash this out, and, you know, like, once once the initial, like, fucking screaming and caterwauling is done with, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure we'll hug it out, but it's kind of it. Don't, don't, don't fucking take bullets on this hill. I mean, I know you're not going to die on this hill, but, like, don't get wounded on this hill, Dingo. This is silly. We love you. Don't be silly. I think he's just saying that's not his take, though, so... It's funny, because as soon as he said that, I, I knew what happened, right? Because Rand heard it, and then he goes, Oh, he's saying that he's saying that they let the attack, you know, the Hamas attack where they killed a thousand plus Jews or whatever. Like, he's saying he let that happen. Oh, I can't listen to this. And he probably really did just turn it off right after that, right? And not yeah. even think about it. Yeah, fucking stupid. <laughs> what a dummy. <laughs> what a fucking idiot, dude. Like, all of this, because you don't know how to fucking, like, interpret things people say. Like, that. that's not, see, here's the thing, Ralph. I never even would have guessed someone would have taken what Jack said the way Ranbot did. If I would have guessed that somebody would... All right, know, all right. here's, here's listener, the armor-piercing response to that. If I did make a mistake, if I did mishear what Bull Jack said... Now, this happened almost a month ago now. I mean, when, when did he put that up? I, I don't know, like, time, you know, like, time travels difference. Uh, time, time, time means something different when you're a time-traveling racist shitlord. But was this like two, three weeks ago? Just, no, just about two weeks ago. It was yeah, the start right. of this month, I believe. You know, so if, I, if I got long. it wrong, if I got it wrong, if I misheard something, and I clicked off, and then I said, "Look, I, 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 I this is what I thought I heard," and I clicked off. Why are you giving aid and comfort to the enemy? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you come to me and square it up? Instead of going on to the fucking Ralph, Ralph's dead and dying fucking show. And, and go and give him content. Ralph has been fucking begging me to engage with him because it would at least give him some content. Like, even if I fucking smoke him, it'll give him some content. And I'm, I'm more than happy to, to just let, let this fucking fat fuck die, uh, you know, with, the, with his incredible, like, fucking show idea of, like, falling asleep while watching CNN, hoping to just collect enough passive income to pay off all his debts. You know, and we found out what his priority was. You know, once he got enough money, like, apparently he still owes, like, $11,000 in child support. Oh, wait, no, by now it'd be, yeah, like, another 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 fortnight would have rolled around. Uh, he, he owes, like, 16000 in in child support. What did he do when he got enough cash together? Oh, he got his truck out of the impound lot. And then immediately made a video aimed at Josh Moon, saying, I got my truck, motherfucker! Let's see you talk shit now! Why... Why, Dingo, instead of coming to me? Or Maldrick. It's fine if he went on yours, too. Why would you Why would you hop on the Fat Man show and actually give them the closest thing to content that the Fat Man's ever put on in, like, the last three months? Yeah, that, that is one thing that we're agreed on that I had said earlier. It's like, just him going on here was a massive mistake, so... It's like he gay-opped himself into a, into a misperceived grievance that no one's really clear on because of, you know... Whatever. Clarified that. But it didn't even cross my mind that somebody would be so dumb to think that he meant, like, Israel's letting them bomb them. Like, what? What? Yeah, Holy that's, shit. That's not what he said at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like, if you would have caught it, like, I wouldn't have caught it except I knew what I was looking for, right? Because, you know, we just listened to Rand. Exactly. And he said that, right? Like, And I was like, okay, You know what, well, Ralph? You really should have be, listened to Rand. <laughs> you, you should have listened to me like a year and a half ago when you were fucking bragging to me about how you were like uh, doing side hose and shit and like trying to hit up, trying to hit up uh, women in your audience. And I was saying, well, I don't know if that's a good idea, dude. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking. I've, I've spoken about this before. Back when we were working together, Ralph was fucking pussy bragging to me in private. Oh, goodness gracious. 
right, we're almost done with this hell. Something in there. That's why you're like, well, I don't know if we should go watch, but I'm sitting here thinking, well, he had to have heard something, right? Even Rand, like, there was something there. And so then as soon as I heard it, I was like, yeah, that's exactly. Dude, you fucking exactly sniffed that fucking shit out in, like, four minutes. Nice yeah. job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't know it would be that easy, but, yeah, it's clear now. And it wasn't then, that easy, Fat Man? Time, that's, so it's not 16 minutes, but it's 14.40, right? So Ram the last 45 minutes of this show down your throat, yeah, Fat Man. Just cut it off right after, so. The retard pill, too. The way he put it, it wasn't even. Uh, okay, chat. Well, we found it. Um, I, Colonel J linked me his stream, but like, I don't know. I think we heard the, the main parts uh, out of that. Unless yeah, he I don't has think I can make it four minutes into yeah, Rambo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we heard the key points. Uh, Cinema says Rand 100% turned it off. Yeah, I think he literally did. Like, I don't think he was lying about that. I think he actually just turned it off rather than just listening for Like, he might have figured it out. <laughs> if you would have listened a little I bit more. I think that fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah. I think Rand turned it off. I literally said I turned it off. Yeah. I made it to 16 minutes and I turned it off. Like, is it? Is there some confusion about this point? Let me clear, let me clear up any ambiguity. I made it to about 16 minutes and I turned it off. I didn't listen beyond that point. I hope everyone's up to fucking speed on that point. Like, don't get me wrong. Whenever I hear things that are anti-white and shit, yeah. I do the same thing. I just turn it off. But, like, if I were listening to someone <laughs> oh, that yeah, I knew, dingo. a friend of mine, I would give him the benefit of the doubt for, I don't know. I did. I suffered through it for, like, the next yeah, three or four minutes, and then I, I turned it off. Interpreted or, you know, what have you. I mean, the guy lives in South Africa starting a pro-white political party or you know that's not kinda, starting started that's impressive i'd say dingo um it'd be like well i mean it wouldn't be quite like me starting one in mexico i think there's no <laughs> <impressive>. <laughs> I fucking can say that he ever would <laughs> say could 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 anybody here even imagine what the fuck that would look like good lord ralph starting a fucking uh, movement the only movement you've ever fucking started is a bowel movement and you probably needed movement. assistance with that hey <laughs> but uh, that's pretty. That takes a little courage, I, I think. Um, yeah, but not I mean, not, not, not as much like courage as like threatening either. to choke your like, wife. It's it's, it's it's not one that you can vote for. I mean, it's right now or anything right, like well, that. It's political nothing movement, like I would say. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, they're all. They also. Oh, have you noticed? Like, you've noticed this fat like fuck doesn't that... doesn't bring up. You notice this fat fuck doesn't bring up anymore. Like, uh, he, he used to he used to try and dine out on that audio where I told my wife to shut the fucking door. You remember that time, like, three years ago? Like, oh, back in the stream you, Your thing just, like, cut out. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, no, I, had, the, I had the beep of death. Uh, the cat's not paralyzed. Though. No, I, I'll tell you what it is. It's that uh, I went and got this USB, this powered USB hub now, and it actually works great. The only problem is that, like, I'm charging my vape off it, and if I set it down <laughs> at the wrong angle, like, uh, there's, like, a minor disconnect and the computer freaks out. I'm like, not even, I can't even play Doom on my vape. Uh, th there's there's no need to be this integrated with it. Just let just let it charge. But, uh, yeah, so, um, to, as to what I was saying, remember he used to dine out on that, on that fucking audio, like, once we had a falling out? Uh, he dined out on that ancient streamy fucking thing where, like, back in the streamy days, uh, back when I was living in Darwin, I, like, I had some, I had some, like, argument with my wife. And I told her to shut the fucking door on the way out. And I got like, this is this is a clear example of like domestic abuse. Yes, because I raised my voice at a woman. No one has ever raised their voice at a woman, right? <laughs> I go, oh, Ralph, no, I mean I never uh, have. Obviously, yeah. obviously, Ram beats the shit out of his wife. He told his wife to shut the fucking door. <laughs> uh, you notice he doesn't bring that up no more. Nope. Yeah, I wonder why he don't bring that up no more. Uh, it couldn't have anything to do with some audio that pants. Yeah, it couldn't have anything to do with his, like, fucking, uh, Michelin ex-wife who literally fucking recorded him threatening to kill her. Yeah, I, I think... Oh, Rand, by the way. Rand. Your, your audio switched back to the other one on Discord. Oh, God, fucking... Oh, Alright, that's probably what happened last time. Alright, hang on, let me fix that. Yeah, it switched, it switched to the microphone that... It's not even supposed to be connected. Microphone 6, Razer... I don't have the microphone plugged into the headphones. How the fuck is it picking up oh. anything? All right. 
Wait, wait a minute. That's actually like a genuinely good question. You might want to figure that out. That's kind yeah. of weird. Yeah, like I've, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a set of Ra Razer headphones. Um, they're actually pretty good. Uh, they've, they've, I think I've gone about three years with them. They're good. They can crank out some decent sound and like, you know, that whole thing about like headphones can't do bass. These do bass pretty well. And uh, I, I would know because I like listening to like bassy music. Uh, do you know? Do you remember what kind they are? Yeah. Hold on. I have. I think mine are the uh, Black Shark too. It might have or the the, the actual thing on the side of it. Uh, oh no, it's all worn off. Uh, <laughs> oh, putting. Yeah, but mine is the stuff. Razer Black Shark V2 Pro. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's the Razer Black Shark. Uh, they're good. the The biggest criticism I have about Razer products is they force you to install their shitty software, which has never been of any fucking benefit and only been a hindrance. No, it's a peripheral. It's a behavioral. I don't need custom software. Just, just, I just want it to plug in and fucking work. Right, that's fair. I didn't mind their software or anything, but I mean, it is completely unneeded, yeah. Yeah. But in terms of quality, yeah, no, this thing's actually really held up. I mean, uh, I'm trying to think. When did I go and pick it up? I think it was fairly early into when I started working full-time uh, on streams. So it would have been at least... When did I quit the Koala Assembly Factory? In 2021? Yeah, I've had these... Look, I've had these at least for two years. And, and they they hold up. They're good. Good sound. Uh, it's literally what I've been using, like, the entire time I've been streaming for at least the last two years. Um, you know, every every molecule of sound in the last two years of these streams has, has come through them. They're good. They're good. I just don't want their shitty third-party third party software. They're behefrials. I don't want your fucking custom Razer software. Fuck off with that. <laughs> behefrials. Fucking love that, it. That's the word. Behefrials. What do you call them? Peripherals. Peripherals. American pronunciation. Nah. All right. There tomato, shouldn't be more, tomato, more than tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Right, yeah. <laughs> there shouldn't be more than just some, another minute or two of this, and then... We're pretty much done, so... Right. That is, they are equally, as much as a political movement, they are equally a pro-farmer movement, and they do things, they don't just talk about things, they do things to help farmers in South Africa, and um, specifically, like, Jack's, you know, a relatively local area, and so, like, Jack, Jack donated, like, 200 sheep to four different farmers who were only farming, like, vegetables and shit, right? They didn't have any... They had no livestock whatsoever. So Jack took 200 of his own fucking sheep. I don't know how much money that is, but it sounds like a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm not a farmer. Yeah. but And so he gave 50 each to All four right. farmers. Look, I know people who are farmers. farmers. 200 head of sheep is a pretty decent amount of fucking sheep. Like, that, that'll that get you going. Like, you, you want to you wanna start up a farm? 200 head of sheep is a pretty good fucking start. Now I know there are some, I know there are some big outfits like there's people like the there's some people out there running with fifteen thousand two hundred head of sheep. But we're talking about like we're talking about like big farms, like real big fucking farms. Two hundred sheep. That's that's a decent amount of fucking sheep. And if uh, if if Bull Jack donated two hundred sheep to someone in need, well, then that was people. a that was a real fucking mensch move of him and an actual literal like personal sacrifice. You will admit, it, 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 like, I don't care how big your fucking farm is, even if you if you are running one of those big farms with 15,000 sheep, gi giving someone else 200 sheep, yeah, you'll feel that. That's a personal sacrifice, and good on him. Good on him for doing that. And uh, that's, a, that's the thing I want to say, you know, I'm not... I am not criticising Boy Jack as a person. Or Dingo. I'm just saying I disagree with their take. Their take on an issue that, like, fundamentally doesn't really have that much of a direct impact on their lives. Uh, he had an in incorrect take on the on the uh on the on the on the third intifada. That's okay. That there is there is no need to have an enormous fucking meltdown about it. Especially to Ralph. Hmm. Like and Bo I involve him in this. Yeah. Well yeah. And look Boa Jack's a good guy. And you won't catch me saying otherwise, I mean unless I'm given very good fucking reason. But Bo Boa Jack is a good fucking guy. I always liked him. I just disagreed with him. It's okay to disagree, right, guys? Yeah. Still have those sheep, and they're doing... Everything's going great. They got more than 50 sheep now. Like, they, they have significantly increased, like, 
the lot in those farmers' lives. They're now like, uh, oh, yeah, here's another thing. So those sheep, oh, okay, that's right. The condition on Jack giving these people those sheep was that I think it's like twice a year they let um, those farmers let Jack or whoever come and shear the sheep. And yeah. so they're going to, like, with that wool, they're making clothes, like, for the cold season. And so the women, uh, Jack's wife and then Jack's, like, right-hand man's wife and then some other guy named, uh, what's his name? Mm. Fuck, Krusty, his wife. Oh, sorry, They're Maverick. all making clothes for farmers. And they're... Tra- Again, yeah. Um, we, we've actually got a similar arrangement. I won't say where, but in rural New South Wales, um, our, farm, our family owns a farm... Well, my, my in-laws, but I'm, I'm bought in now, right? You know, you know, I gave him a kid. <laughs> I'm bought in. <laughs> um, so they, they own a, they own a property in rural New South Wales, but like they, they don't get out there that often. And, um, and here's, here's the fun thing about sheep, because I couldn't tell you exactly how many head of sheep are running on it. A significant number of sheep are running around on this property that is basically unattended most of the year. I mean, I would like to get out there more, and hell, I'd like to live there because I can do as long as I got a decent in- internet connection, I can work anywhere. I would love to move out there and be rural, but it's it's my wife's job uh, that is as specifically tied to the city, uh, which is why I'm stuck in Canberra. Um, I'd like to get out there more. I'd like to go out to the farm there more. I'd like to shoot more crows. It's pest control. It's okay. It's uh, it's it, there is no there is no moral question to shooting crows with a twenty two, but uh, we don't get out there that much, so we have an arrangement with uh with the farmer next door, like uh like he's talking about with Boer Jack, the the sheep on the farm are basically like almost fucking feral, because like you know no human su- supervision right, we just got all the gates we just got all the gates open and they just they just roam around grazing. We actually pay the neighbours to come in and shear them once a year. They come in, they shear them. Uh, we we get paid for the wool, uh, we, and we pay them for their for their time and labour. Sometimes we pitch in. It uh, just really depends on on who's on who's where and what what they're up to at that time of the year. That's a it's it, it's it's literally a rural thing, like. It, a lot of, in fact, like uh, people who are actually are out there living rural are making bank on this kind of thing, like our neighbours. That there are people who own rural property that they haven't given up, but um, you know they've moved to the city, you know, like we have. And um, yeah, they 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 they've got all the keys to the kingdom. They go to other people's farming lots, and and they do the harvest or the shearing, you know, you know whether whether it be crops or you know crops or livestock. They come in and they do the needful and they get paid for it. They make good bank out of it. Well, I mean, all right then. Yeah, sounds like a good little arrangement. It is a good little arrangement. I mean, as I said, like, I'd prefer to be living there. I really would. I, I'd, right. I'd love to be out rural. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know what the I don't know what the state of the internet is out there in rural New South Wales. Well, it would really depend where exactly in rural New South Wales it would be. But I mean, even if even if a, even if it took like getting a fucking sat sat link fucking connection, I could do my job there. I would love to do my job there. I would love to be in the middle of fucking nowhere doing these streams. I mean, it's not like I like I, I like interacting with the general public anyway. <laughs> I miss nothing. I'd like to go outside. I'd, I'd like to I'd like to walk out of my office and see sheep strolling around. That'd be nice. Uh, in fact, I got a lot of nice memories of the of the rural property. We just don't get out there as as much as I'd like to. Right. All right. I'm rambling now. No, you're fine. We'll, we'll end this, and then we can we can part ways. I need to do Pinochet's links, and then I'm probably you uh, need to do a penis. Or... Oh Jesus! Yes. <laughs> oh, Justin, <laughs> Justin, Justin Egger, hang on. Justin Egger said Wagga Wagga. No, but uh, I did I did spend my teenage years in Wagga Wagga. No, it's uh, it's not actually near Wagga Wagga. But, uh, oh, man, uh, I had occasion to be back down in Wagga Wagga a few years ago. Uh, went to went to go see some friends. Hang on, I'm trying to remember what. Oh, probably was about 2018. And, yeah, like, Wagga Wagga was my, was my stomping ground. And, yeah, going down, um, like going down the main drag and seeing all the old sites and, you know, like, you know, I was already, you know, I'd already entered my 30s and it was... I, I had this I had this sort of moment 
where like uh, I remember stomping around this place as a teenager and um the missus and I sat down to have dinner in like a uh, in the open air like outside of a restaurant we're having dinner and we're watching like some drunk teenagers like fucking stumble down the street <laughs> not looking for trouble or anything they're just they're just, just just drunk white kids you know harmless you know unless you cause trouble with them uh, <laughs> uh, and I'm looking around I go man oh this used to this used to be my place and I'm watching, watching like the, the the drunk mob of like white teenagers like fucking stumble down the street. And I go, I guess it's theirs now. I mean, it, was a, it was a sort of eerie, bittersweet feeling. You know what I mean? Like the the past really is a uh, a foreign country. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I don't have the quite the same uh, you know experience as, as you do in that regard. But I I do actually get what you mean mm. in my own way. Anyway, uh, for those for those who get this joke. Never, ever, ever say Wagga, 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 cause Wagga, Wagga, Wagga is wrong. Uh, do you want it's me... so funny to say, Rand. Do you, want, do you want me to explain it? It's um, a... I, sure, I, I'm, why I'm not? going to anyway. Are you, are you know what? No, <laughs> no, let, let, let this end, because there's like a minute left, no, and then, then we can explain no, it. No, I'm going to explain it. I'm going to explain it now. Because some people call it Wagga, and some people call it Wagga, Wagga. Uh -huh. and, the, and the great thing about uh, the great thing about that little ditty is it can go either way. You don't call Wagga Wagga Wagga, or don't call Wagga Wagga Wagga. It works either way, D due to the it, the yeah. argument as to whether to call it Wagga or Wagga Wagga. Don't call Wagga Wagga Wagga. You get it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> Never ever ever say Wagga 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 because Wagga 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 is wrong. <laughs> All right, go go for it. Guess, what, guess how much they're charging them? Not a fucking thing, big guy. Nothing. I think we're pretty like, much done anyway. That's Jack, yeah. though. Like, th th he could just make good shit out of nothing, you know? He doesn't talk with his fucking 18 friends on a Discord podcast and misinterpret smart people on air. That's Rambot that does that. Yeah, Rambot definitely did that. Um, and then he, what I do, nigga? I mean, you guys are being, like, I won't say genteel, but, like, you're not... You know, you're just talking about... I, I am very genteel. I am what you may consider a supreme gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see him incendiary either. That's why when I was listening at first, I was like, okay. And you're talking about your life and like, I don't know. And ran... I don't know. It seemed like he was waiting to be disgusted too. You know what I mean? Like, I can't... <laughs> no. <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like... Well, I don't know. They seem pretty chill. Yeah, like, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I put on, I put on, I put on Dingo's show... I put on Dingo's show, like excited to see that my boy was back. I went and put that on on the on the sidebar, and fired up a video game because I was just waiting to have a problem. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, you got me dead to rights, you fat retard. I don't know. I didn't seem bitchy all. Oh, dude, you know what? I fucking love sober Ralph. Like you have really. You have great insights when you're not all fucked up on oh, shit. Oh, Jesus, and you're, Dingo. You're absolutely right. And, like, I wouldn't have said it. I, it didn't come to my head, but, like, in the back of my head, yeah, now that you mentioned it, you're right. It's like, he Good was job. just looking for a reason to act like <laughs> that. Yeah, it seemed like that. And I don't know, maybe he had some... Well, this is the clear moment when Ralph like... is really the Jew whispering in Dingo's ear. Yep. I mean, he's still he's doing a great... Like, like, you know, credit where credit's due. Like, uh... Whether Dingo is doing this on purpose or not, he is getting Ralph to be more retarded than usual. Yeah. This... Yeah, because his insect brain is like, I get to trash talk one of them snakes who done fucked with me. What he was saying? Or... I, I don't know. It just seemed like he was looking for a reason to be pissed off, and then he heard that. I wasn't looking for a reason. I qualified my opinion, and, and I said that I respected you know, both of them, even though I disagree. That, but then they come out on your show, and, or his show, and call people... Idiots and, uh, hey, how about the time you threatened to rape my wife, fat guy? You just turn something off, okay, and don't say anything. How about right? that time you said that so, uh, <laughs> like you'd like to see my son hit by a bus? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like, uh, talk about keeping it classy, fat man. I will rape your wife and then slit her throat. I hope your son gets hit by a bus. Yeah, motherfucker. Keep talking that shit. Yeah, I mean, like for the record, Rambot or whoever, they can say whatever the fuck they want about me. Like, I've I've always been able to like take jokes and give jokes back, and if we're all fucking with each other, no, it's all you get games. extremely butthurt, but, Digger. Like, you got incredibly. Don't think yourself 
in the position. I mean, look, it's it's sad but true. Like, I love Dingo. You... I really do love Dingo. But he is thin-skinned, and he does fucking fly off the handle. Like, anyone, anyone want to tell me I'm wrong with that? He can definitely be very animated at times. Mm. That's for sure. I mean, once again, like, I stand by that thing I said, which he himself laughed at. Dingo, if I fucking cloned you perfectly, you would get into a fistfight with your own clone. <laughs> <laughs> can look down upon a man like Boer Jack, who, ran by, I'm just going to be I honest. I don't look down on Boer Jack. I look up to Boer Jack. I said every I loved way. him. There's not a way that Jack's not better than you, Ranbot. And you're going to fucking... I never said I was better than him. him. Like, he's a fucking... Like, he's some cuck retard? He's not when a he's cuck not retard! He just has a There's wrong no opinion! We've all had wrong opinions! Yeah. Definitely. Definitely needs to pull it back on that. But, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, just gotta talk this out or whatever. Not a big deal. And that's why I'm not friends with that motherfucker no more. Oh, stop. oh but I'll see you here, friends with you no more. He will be friends with oh, me, Mawa, <laughs> like, next week. <laughs> Did you say Mawa? <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll be friends with me, Mawa, next week. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i again i had no idea it's honestly yeah you funny. never have had a fucking idea like, you fucking insect not even understanding what was said to, I think that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird, but... <laughs> it's perfect yeah it's like poetic really um because it's not even it's just rant not understanding uh, the situation so, i understand the situation well, you know what you're the one who doesn't say, understand I... the situation you fat piece of shit you don't even understand, like, when people are, like, fucking mogging you for, like, a week straight because of your obviously, like, photoshopped, like, fucking things like, I'm gonna convince people I lost a shit ton of weight. Yeah, you're the one who doesn't fucking understand. Talking about people who, like, like, Ralph is literally illiterate because he can't even read a room. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> to give you kudos there, because I had no idea... He already had it clipped and everything. He was ready to deploy, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I didn't even know he spoke about me on his show. I had no idea. This is all new to me. I had no idea. Look at that ever, motherfucker uh, trying to see that. Had, like, Look at him. Clips ready. He just uploaded them, though, so... But still... Uh, I yeah, like, I absolutely yeah, I conspired to, to say mean things about Dingo. Yeah, which is easily, like, the retarded fucking... Uh, the most retarded takeaway from this whole thing, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I, I mean, that's that's Ralph playing to his audience because, like, you you have to be like a like a, a drama above all, like fucking mouth breathing retard to still be an unironic Ralph fan. So he's playing to them. So I, I suppose there's like a hundred people walking around on God's green earth right now who think that I deliberately engineered like some some sort of confrontation with Dingo because, like, you know that that that's really in my best interest, right? To stir up trouble with Dingo out of nowhere yeah. for no good fucking reason. Of course. Uh, you like to stir the pot, Rand. You're a well known pot stirrer. I am a pot stirrer, but like uh, in, in in good fooling and fine and, and in, in, you know in, in good fooling. Right, right. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't Big. deliberately antagonize people. Like I'm not. I'm not vicious except against my enemies. Mm -hmm. a and uh, why would I ever go out of my way to start a beef with Dingo out of nowhere? It wouldn't really make sense. Yeah. No. Oh. And like, there's nothing like you know, you guys, you guys, are, you know, some of you guys have been around for a long time. Has there been, has there ever been anything in my nature which would make you think like I'd be a like a deliberate antagonist to like people who have you know otherwise been like uh, good friends to me? I'm not Ralph. <laughs> you you aren't one to destroy people for no reason. No. I'm your side. I mean, I don't think, even think I've even destroyed... Have I ever destroyed anyone? I mean, not Mersh. I'm not, like, putting, like, fucking stolen valor. I'm not pinning medals on my chest. The giant killer... Giant killer Rand, I took out this guy. <laughs> uh, be a lot cooler if you did. Yeah. No, <laughs> but yeah, I can't... I mean, like, I've, I've had harsh words for people, but the most of the people I critique are in fucking power and are completely unaffected by the words I've said. Right. I mean, uh, we did that whole thing yesterday about that countercurrence article. I mean, did that affect the? Did that affect Mike Mike Gantz? You know, did I did I destroy Frame Games with my critique? No. Did I even affect the career of the faggot who wrote that article on countercurrence? No. 
I had the harshest words in the world for those people. But these people are entrenched. I haven't impacted their lives. I wish I could. Uh, well, let's finish this. Um, we should have paid in. I know. I was like, wow, that just gave me a whole segment there. <laughs> I had no idea what the fuck was going on. Um, okay, give us some crypto. Man, it's late as fuck now. Holy fuck. Actually, that's about it. Yeah, he's going to ask for crypto tips now. So that was it. Aww. That was the entire clip. Yeah, no, yeah that's the right time to stop. Give us some crypto tips. Yeah, no, the time to leave. <laughs> heading, for the, heading for the exit door, boys. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CSA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.